Hey guys, Silver here, and today I'm going to be opening and reviewing the Mega Charizard X and Mega Charizard Y attack figures from Takara Tomy. And I have the original Charizard X and Charizard Y here, which we will be comparing these two to later. So let's scoot these guys aside. And Charizard X is using Dragon Claw, while Charizard Y is using Dragon Tail. And you can see the really cool designs on the packaging here, the slash for Dragon Claw, and like the tail effect for Dragon Tail, that's really cool. Tomy always has fantastic packaging. And from the side you can see more of the figures and the little window display. And here's the back. Since Charizard X is super size figure number 37 and Charizard Y is super size figure number 38, so let's go in order with Charizard X first. All right, and now we have our Tomy leaflet. Standard Tommy leaflet there. And now let's get a close up of Charizard X. All right, so we have Mega Charizard X here and let's go ahead and take a closer look at the figure. You can see his face here looks fantastic. I love the way the flames come out, are coming out of his mouth. Underneath the figure here, you can see his teeth. Now there is some glue on the side of his face right here. It looks like the flames were glued in separately. So that is a bit unfortunate, but you really can't see that unless you're examining the figure very closely. You can see it here too. But other than that, the paint job on this guy looks pretty clean. Here's the copyright information. His wings here, very nice looking, great sculpting. All the colors are very accurate and nice looking. So there is Charizard X. Now let's do a 360 with him. And this guy has a great profile, really nice looking figure. I love the attack pose it has. And this would make a great addition to any Charizard X collector. And for a comparison, I have the original Charizard X Tomy figure. You can see these two together, they look fantastic. I think I still like the original one, but the Dragon Claw one is nice as well. And as I didn't mention before, you can actually move his arms since this is a super size figure. Not a whole lot you could really do with them, but you can in fact move his arms if you would like. Kinda looks like he's using like strength here or something, change it up a little bit. But there is Charizard X. Now let's move on to Mega Charizard Y. And now we move on to Charizard Y and he is using Dragon Tail and right off you can see he's a little bit wobbly. You have to be careful with this guy. The way his feet are, you have to position them in a way that will support him. And like Charizard X, you can move his arms and you can move his legs, although they really have to be just like that or he will topple. But Charizard Y here, it looks fantastic. I love how dynamic this figure looks. Really nice sculpting. Let's zoom in a little closer. You can see his face here, he has nice teeth, his eyes look really good. No glue on this guy. All the colors look really nice, you can see his wings. I love the torn effect that Charizard Y has with his wings, so that looks great. His tail with the spines. And the copyright information is in the same place as it was with X on the bottom of the tail. 
So there is Charizard Y. Now let's do the same thing as we did with X and do a full round 360 view of him. All right, and now let's look at the figure from all angles. Really fantastic looking. I absolutely love the sculpting on his wings. All the colors are great. And Charizard Y, I think I like him a little bit more than I like Charizard X, but it is very close. They're both still very nice figures. And here are the two Charizard Ys together. Like with Charizard X, I think I like the original just a little bit more, but that's not to say that the attack figure isn't very nice. They both are. You can see these two together. They look great. So powerful. Charizard and his Mega Evolution, so powerful. So there are those two, and now let's get the whole gang together. All right, so I have assembled all of the Charizard figures here, and I must say that I really do like the attack figures, even though I do like the originals just a little bit more. The attack figures are still very nice and would make a wonderful addition to any Tomy collector or any Charizard fans collection. I bought these guys from Hobby Link Japan. I will leave a link below if you are interested in purchasing them yourself. And I have more attack figures that I will be reviewing very soon. So I will have Noivern, Mega Blaziken, and Mega Lucario. Those are the three latest attack figures, and I have those guys right now, so that will probably be the next Tomy review. I also have Ho-Oh that I need to review. And then of course we have a bunch of figures coming out over these next few months. So if you like Tomy figures, be sure to subscribe. I will keep reviewing them as long as Tomy makes them. And I almost forgot my comment question for you guys is which Charizard do you like better? Do you like Charizard X or do you like Charizard Y? For me, I have to say, oh, it's so, it's so close. I think I like Charizard Y just a little bit more. I think, it, I love its ability, the drought ability. I love the torn wings. And I love his little spikes that come out of his head. I think I like Charizard Y just a little bit more. I know that's probably the unpopular opinion, but they're both very nice. I love Charizard, obviously one of the OG best original Pokemon. So be sure to let me know in the comments down below which Charizard is your favorite. And that will do it. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you all so very much for watching, and I will see you all in the next one.